Hey guys, this is going to be how to get and how to use the mini VMAC emulator. And what this is, is it's a Mac emulator for your iPhone, iPod Touch, that it lets you emulate the old um, um, Macintoshes, the ones with OS 7.0.0, or the one I'm using right now is 7.0.1. And this is just how to use it, and first I'm just going to give you a demo of it, and then I'll show you how to get it and how to use it. So there's the icon right down there. You see the little mini VMAC to the right of the street cone. You can hit that. And here, let me just get out of it for a second so you can show you how to do it. Okay. So you're going to start it up, and it's going to look like this. And it's going to take a second for it to start up. Okay. And now it's going to have this little question mark disk. And you're just going to take your two fingers and scroll to the right here. And you're going to pick, pick the name of the, your disk. That's the one you're going to install on it. Or you're going to just put the file in there. So I'm going to choose it. And that's how you can choose booting um, to different um, operating systems for it. And there it is starting up. And that's just a standard background it comes with. And there it is. That's the... It doesn't look like much, but you see here, it's like the old Max, and it does, it's fully functional, you can click a whole bunch of stuff, and it all works, and it's really neat to play around with. So, and you can even change operating systems, you can have old, new operating systems, and it's really cool, and it has the full functionality of the old Max that they did. And I'm just going to tell you how to use it. You guys can figure out how to play with it by yourself. Now I'm just going to tell you how to get it. <clears throat> so first, you're going to go into Cydia. And you're going to need to add the source um, namedfork.net. It'll be in your repository section. So you go to, um, go to sections, go to repositories. And you're going to need to look for the one namedfork.net. I'm just going to go, since I already have it installed, I'm just going to go to manage. There you go. Namedfork.net. And there's only two packages that come with this one. With this repo. And they are the mini VMAC and some other terminal command line based game. I don't care about. But whatever. It's freezing up, so. Okay, so you're going to add that source and you're going to go in there and you can download the mini vmac emulator and you're going to see it un in under sections just going to pop up with the new um, section called emulators and you can open it up and there's only going to be one in there and it's just going to download that and the first time when you open it without and once you haven't don't have anything installed on it it's just going to say disk image missing or you can't do anything the rom is not there and what you're going to do, I'm going to give you the ROM and the disk image. And it's going to be up here in the description for you to download. And I'll give you the site so you can download other ones. You have different operating systems if you want. And what you're going to do is you're going to need SSH for this. And if you guys don't know how to SSH, I will put my video on how to SSH over here too. So you can need SSH into your phone. And those two files, the ROM file and the disk image file, you're just going to need to drag and drop them into... The into forward slash which is like the root folder applications and the name of the application so it'll be in forward slash applications mini vmac and just gonna drop it into the main mini vmac application folder and it's really that simple it just gets dropped right into there and then you can go in just respring your iPod or iPhone whatever and just open it up and it'll work and I showed you how to do it earlier it's gonna when it comes up let's say missing screen you're just gonna double tap two fingers slide over and it'll let you pick your boot um your boot disc so that's it play with it have fun guys comment